Hello beautiful people, it's Bella and today is the beginning of a new journey for me that I would like to invite you to join me along um, for us to mutually support each other in these transformation. I know these are very challenging times for a lot of us, myself including, and it's also a time where we're called to go back to the basics, to the foundations. Um, you know me as a very positive, upbeat, energized, and uh, person who also created the pleasurable wellness method. So it came to me as a big shock to discover that I was suffering from a form of lighter form of depression, but still that, that at the core of its explanation, it's the lack of desire to do the things that, uh, that you normally do, right? So it's the opposite of pleasurable wellness. So how did I get there? And the reason I'm bringing this up is I think it's so important for all of us to A, pay attention to what we're experiencing, not ignoring the symptoms, thinking like, oh, whatever, it will go away on its own. Two, ask for support. Sometimes we cannot deal with the things that are happening to us. We need help. Three, both professional and social. And three, to understand that mental, emotional, physical health are completely interwoven and interconnected. They're not separate from each other. And mental health is not something to shy away from as like, oh, I can just change my thoughts into positive and everything will fall into place. Mental health at its foundation is very physiological. So let me guide you through what happened to me so you can uh, not to be, you know, just open and vulnerable, but to help those of you that might be struggling with the same thing. And I know there are a lot of people struggling with this to maybe take the first step towards getting help. So uh, a lot of you know that, you know, I, I went through, you know, life changing moments in my life from separation to moving to a new country, losing my business to starting again. All of those things matter, right? They're not trivial. But of course, I am a survivor and a fighter and a you know powerful woman. So I put those things behind me and I went on to create a, a new life for myself in Miami. But recently, uh, my body decided to, not decided to, but basically the emotions that I hadn't processed and the sadness or whatever it is that I was experiencing before that I didn't allow myself to process through started uh, surfacing first in physical ailments, then in an injury, <clears throat> all of those around my chest area, which is the area that's responsible for processing, uh, you know, sadness, feelings of abandonment, all of those things. And then through really debilitating, uh, you know, anxiety attacks slash insomnia that really made me feel like I was losing touch with reality. And that's where I knew that I had to ask for help on some of the things that I've been experiencing to a lesser degree, but now it was impossible to ignore. And that's what our body will do when we are not paying attention to it. So for me, the trigger of having had a, a, a really painful injury made me, uh, you know, exacerbated some of the symptoms I was experiencing before, such as insomnia, anxiety, which I had, you know, the, like mild levels now were really strong. And then as soon as I would lay down, I would experience these almost like panic attacks that would make me feel like I'm losing completely touch with reality. And it sounds very like, you know, get yourself together, right? So that, that's the, 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 the response we get from a lot of people. And um, I was very lucky to be guided to um, um, I was very lucky to be guided to a um, psychiatrist. I was very to be, uh, and I was very lucky because I was guided to do my first ever session in my whole life with a psychiatrist. At first, I was very uh, hesitant in doing that because there's a lot of negativity around, you know, like why would I need a psychiatrist, right? 
but diagnosis was so beautifully put together and explained in such a clear way what was happening in my body uh, that it made me at ease because what I was interpreting as, you know, why am I being so lazy? Why can I get my shit together? Why I'm not able to really, you know, get my myself, my business up and running? Why am I having this setbacks? All of a sudden they made sense. They were real physiological uh, shifts in my chemistry, right? Uh, namely, in my case, it's related to serotonin. So some of the neurotransmitters that uh, attach themselves to serotonin to for us to not only feel good, right? It's a feel good hormone, but also to ease into sleep, to uh, soothe anxiety, to bring on this feeling of relaxation. All of these things uh, were lacking in my body, right? So by positive thoughts alone, I was not able to snap myself out of it. And I'm also not a believer in, in um, you know, pharmaceutical medication. Sometimes they're needed, but uh, I think even research shows that they're not very uh, helpful when it comes to treating anxiety and depression. And so we went the route of treating me with uh, natural medications, but things that are precursors, let's say like amino acids, right? And, and, and certain, uh, minerals that are necessary for these reactions to get back to normal and so the reason I'm bringing this up is if you're experiencing even mild symptoms of anxiety of you know not being as energized as you usually are um, having emotional outbursts out of nowhere you know where you feel sad for no reason it is not for you to beat yourself up and it also not what I did uh, for a while I kind of went after a more of a like a personal development and, and spiritual journey which is very helpful sometimes but sometimes we just need to get back to our body and to the basics and that's what I wanted to invite you to do together with me we can hold each other responsible for really bringing ourselves back to the basics a Eating really, new, eating really nourishing foods and, you know, really connecting with what our body needs to thrive, that self-care. Really prioritizing our sleep and understanding how sleep works. Uh, as Matthew Walker in his book mentioned, sleep is kind of the, the magical pill for just about everything. If you read his research, it's fascinating how it affects our mental, physical, emotional health, uh, weight gain, um, you know, if you're not sleeping enough. It really is a medication for everything. So sleep is important. Uh, our relationships with other people and intimacy are huge boosters in our mental and emotional well-being don't underestimate them reach out for uh help when you need it even when you don't think you need it build that social network of people that you can call on when you need them uh, movement is highly important movement is not for weight loss only movement is for us to allow these negative emotions and stress to come out and Guess what? Stress is actually the number one killer. I've come to see it through, in, 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 you know, in, on, uh, through a very personal experience. Like, if you cannot switch the switch off into uh, activating your parasympathetic symptom, which is the symptom that really puts you into relaxation nothing works your immune immune system goes out of whack you can't sleep you can't feel good you cannot uh, uh you don't have libido all of these things really go out of whack and that is a self-perpetuating it's like a, it's a loop that takes you further and further down so learning how to manage stress is key um you ask me you know if you know all these things why did this happen to you well it happened to me um, while I was on a long trip where I was not doing all of the practices that I normally do. I didn't have all of my 
um, 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 tools at my disposal. I didn't have the social support that I normally have. And then when I got injured, I couldn't move, run, dance, the things that really make me happy. My social interactions diminished dramatically. Um, separate from my daughter at the moment, who is like one of the sources of my uh, happiness. Um, so all of these things, uh, you know, like I don't have enough the energy to cook the things that I would normally cook, right? But it's okay because now having understood that, you know, that, that there, there's a reason for it gave me so much more hope and forgiveness that I'm practicing with myself, that it's okay to fall back sometimes. It's okay to ask for help from your friends and professional help. And it's okay, it is necessary to go back to the basics, to really trust that your body will heal if you give it all the different, uh, the, the basics. And guess what? Um, I'm going back to my own course that I created with other seven professionals called the Foundations of Pleasurable Wellness. And I wanna invite you to join me. It's gonna be a 10 week journey of going back to these basics, but really recontextualizing what it means to be taking care of yourself, how to activate your own blueprint for thriving, how to put mental, emotional, and physical health back together tightly so that you can really see that one and the other are not separate. They're part of the same uh, thing. And so the journey will start mid-September and I want you to hold me accountable and I want myself to be accountable to you uh, so that we can together build this new foundation for all of the changes that are coming, for the transformations that we need in our life. Because if we're seeking something bigger, we need to have our our foundation uh, solid. So thank you for listening and uh, say yes if you're interested, I will send you more information. Lots of love.